Hello, Macy here, and welcome back to part two. We're going to try and get this little guy back to Kerbin after his successful mission to visit a Moonar Arch. He's been perched up there, admiring the view. Um, he deployed his satellite in orbit before he landed just above the site, which is beaming information back to Kerbin. So he's fulfilled his end of the bargain with the scientific community who paid half his fare to get out here. So just climbing back on board and there's Kerbin perfectly silhouetted in the sky beautiful home sweet home will be with you soon hopefully if we've got enough fuel because yet again I've got no fuel for the return home um, bad landing mostly because of <laughs> but there you go uh, just get these ladders up and away and stowed and I just want to take off and burn east as hard as I can so Let's go. Okay, tip her on the back. And make sure she stays in the air. And now full burn. And try and make orbit from here. Very low altitude. And I can always fix it from the other side. With such low gravity, it's almost tempting to just burn towards Kerbin. But never do that because um, always making orbit first and then flinging yourself away from the planet using the gravitational assist for the um, body you're trying to leave so let's push this out into an orbit there you go that will do and I will fix it when we get round there and bring up the far side to make this much more circular I don't know why I'm turning round I just, it's a space plane it doesn't fly on its back don't ask me why so just push that out make it circular there you go and now we can start working out where we need to make this burn from so leaving retrograde best I can and it's not perfect but it will do so let's leave on that trajectory and we can always fix it um, when we leave the sphere of influence of the moon the moon, moon, moon um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, how do you pronounce that? is it moon or is it mun? I'm sure it's moon I'm sure it's moon. <laughs> so just leaving the sphere of influence of the moon and then I need to get this periapsis much closer um, to Kerbin because I'm going to need to do some serious aero braking as per usual. Um, you can see I've got sod all fuel left uh, <laughs> so I need to make sure I'm not going to fluff this up and get too high or too low. Inbound okay so let's fix this I reckon that's about right I'd prefer to underdo this than overdo this because I'm already in orbit so I have no danger of flying back off into space I can just come round a second time if it goes wrong so let's try here to start with it's slowing me down it's pretty good but not enough I don't think Gonna have to come round for a second run at this, I think. So warp round, and let's come in for another go. I'm gonna leave it at the same height. It might be a mistake, but let's see how we do. So that's coming in quite rapidly, actually. Oh no, I think I've done. I think I've overdone this. I think I've overdone this, and we've got no fuel to correct it. Yep, we're falling. I might have to use some fuel here. Okay, let's see if that's enough. I really couldn't afford to use that fuel. Um, I'm very stubborn and of course I want to land right back at the runway. I always want to land back at the runway because recovering a ship from another continent is going to be expensive and not very... Um, I just don't think it feels right. So there it is, the familiar coastline of the uh, space centre. So now importantly I need to balance my tanks like you may have seen me do before with this ship. Um, the fuel in the wing tanks where the jet engines are aren't cross feeding from the centre so I need to manually put what's left in my central tanks and evenly distribute that into my wing tanks and then turn on these engines and turn off the liquid engine. And now we're ready to land so you can see my angle coming in there. It doesn't look good actually it looks like I've fallen a bit short again I keep doing this it's okay because we can fly for some distance but not too far because oh my god look how much fuel I have there 
Okay, let's try and ignite these engines and get some distance because we still have a whole continent to cover. Oh no, I always do this, don't I? I always cut it so fine. We might not make this. I'm going to keep my speed up and my throttle up just to keep my altitude high so I can get there. Okay, we're getting closer now. On the last breaths of fuel. Just easing back the throttle now. And I'm going to try and glide that last little bit, but we're really running out of fuel here. Okay, final approach. Now on fumes. I need to keep this running a little bit, otherwise I'm going to fall too hard. It's quite draggy, this ship, as you can imagine, so it's not the best glider. It does bleed energy. Get the gear down. And let's see if we can do this. Oh, look at that. We might just have enough fuel. We're right on the last bit of the tank now. This is quite straight. It's looking good so far. I've aligned this on the way down so I can hit this as straight as possible. No maneuvering at the last minute. It's not looking bad actually. Back wheels touch. And let's ease it down. Oh! That was nearly disastrous. It looked like my wing was going to touch there. So that's it. We are down, despite a very close shave there and almost no fuel to land with. Uh, by the skin of my teeth, I've managed to get it back here. I always do this. I always seem to do this. It's never easy for some reason. I never make it easy for myself. But we're back, so I just need to touch the brakes here, as I've said before. Um, don't throw on the main dodgy front heavy brakes. Always use friction to slow you down, which is why it's good to give yourself as much runway as possible. Let's get him out of the ship, back on terra firma, which I'm sure he's pleased to have beneath his feet after his hair-raising ride through space and his almost non-return. <laughs> so, very happy, of course, to be back. And another successful mission for the Elysium class Corvette. I think it's the last time I'll feature this ship on this channel because I've flown it to death now. It might make a cameo role somewhere in the future, but I think that's it for now. So a fond farewell to the Elysium, I certainly will, and bye for now.